Hi students This crisp video covers the stringent selection processes that help retain only a fraction of thymocytes among the millions initially produced randomly and also to figure out why is it so important These processes occur in the primary lymphoid organ thymus much prior to the antigen exposure and hence are antigen independent once matured and ready in the thymus the t lymphocytes are now strictly evaluated by the host system before getting released outside in the blood circulation tcrs of the t cells are meant to interact with the mhc molecules of antigen presenting cells or altered body cells some t cells fail to develop functional tcrs and they are duly apoptosized those t cells whose tcrs recognize and moderately bind to their own mhcs or mhcs plus processed for an antigen are deservingly selected and retained and the rest are apoptosized this is termed positive selection which results in the survival of only self mhc restricted t cells this essentially means that t cells with tcrs of any host system are not capable of receiving antigens presented on foreign mhcs for instance from any transplanted organ likewise there's another process called the negative selection the t lymphocytes surviving the positive selection proceed now from thymic cortex to medulla and are now judged for their affinity to self antigens on self mhc or very high affinity to self mhc alone t cells exhibiting any of these properties also are instructed to commit suicide or at least to get channelized for clonal energy meaning unresponsiveness or receptor editing signifying modification in tcr so that it can no more recognize self peptides the safest option though is clonal deletion that is killing self reactive cells it is obvious that all t cells which recognize self antigens also shouldn't be allowed to remain alive else auto immunity shall be encouraged that may be detrimental to the host system in the long run so this negative selection fabulously results in the feature of self tolerance while positive selection takes place in the thymic cortex negative selection does so in the thymic medulla these amazing selection process of t cells are very critical in the t cell development pathway although these are ridiculously expensive processes as they may involve death of up to 98% of all the t cells produced but still are worth achieving the bigger goal of keeping the host system alive healthy and functional worth emphasizing is also the fact that without the essential scissors of apoptosis or programmed cell death the existence of correct competent and efficient t lymphocytes could never be imagined hope we could make the concept clear in a simple and easy manner please imbibe these while we are back soon enough with another short video on activation and differentiation of t cells in the peripheral lymphoid organs we nitin and archana thank our esteemed audience for watching and appreciating our work it's bye till next time